wait till some people show up. Wait a minute or two. In fact, share this when you come in here. Okay. Oh, hey, let's have catastrophe. All right, two people are watching. Share this, Micah Kennedy. What's going on, brother? I know you played live. How'd that go? Ponton's pepper powder P3. So I'll be reviewing this today. I just I just picked this up like 20 minutes ago locally. Bronco Billy's Beef Jerky Bourbon Soaked. I got bottles of bourbon here. I don't drink much, though. Ingredients. Beef, soy, water, hydronized soy protein, corn syrup, salt, caramel coloring, lactic acid, potassium sorbate, bourbon, seasonings, water, brown sugar. And that's what it is. Little Towns, PA. I'm not even sure where that's at. Not a problem, man. I was going to watch you. I was going to watch. I'm opening this because I'm excited. It actually has... It's a little surprise. I, I actually expected a very strong aroma. I bought something. Oh, it was a beer. I tried two weeks ago. And it was barrel aged in this cherry wood. And it was just, whoo, it was too strong with cherry wood. But they age it for like 20 years. But this has a nice, nice sweet, a slight bourbon scent. Now we're down to one person. Well, a lot of people are at work right now. I go live when I can. I'm going to... Just go ahead and go with it. I got work to do, so I'm not going live too much. Slightly tender. I instantly like it. Yeah, I should. I should just get into a whole bunch of beef jerky reviews. I expected a little bit more bourbon flavor. Bourbon is a great flavoring and tenderizer for meats. This is good. This is very good. Am I going to eat it again? I think I will. I usually make my own jerkies. I don't taste any spice, really. Moderately. That's chili heads would like it a lot. Look at this guy. This guy looks like he lives in McKee's Rocks, PA. I think I worked with him at Recon. All right. I'm getting mentioned on Facebook. People were talking. I start eating jerky, people start talking. So I'm going to sit for here in a half an hour in silence and just eat. I went back again, so you know I like it. Like, if I rate on, on how much I like it, 1 out of 10, 10 tough. You, you could hardly ever get a 10 out of me for anything. I'd say this is like a 7.5. A, a solid 7.5. So, it's good. It's enjoyable. It has a nice flavor. Personally, for me, I would have had a little bit more of a bourbon flavor. And it would a little bit more bourbon flavor would have went a long way.
I got all my orders out already. I've been transplanting. It was my mom's birthday a week ago. And it seems like I've gone out to dinner with her three times. Or one for Easter. And then my sister took her out and I went. And then last night I took my mom out for dinner. So. Love your members of your family if you can. They're not there forever. It was nice to get out last night a little bit. I don't get out. I wake up. This is my workplace. I wake up in the middle of the night. It seems about every other night. And I start working again. There's a website, stonypointfarmmarket.com, stonypointfarmmarket.com. Might be backwards, I don't know. You know, <laughs> that's the choreography of beef jerky. Right there. Oh, hey, I always forget to do this. 98, 99.999%. Don't, don't even know this person anyway, but my friend, my friends, Matt and Laura, they're good people. Their son subscribes to my channel. I think he watches all my videos. I'm not sure. So shout out to Matthew if you're watching. He's probably in school right now. I don't know, man. Matthew, if you're ever watching, I'll do a review with you or something. It'll be fun. Samuel Wood says, I got to dip out for ground school. Okay. Thank you for watching. People, make sure you share this. Come in and share it. It's not hard to do to share it. Awesome. JPPepperSeeds.com These videos, the format is basically real laid back. I'm laid back. Literally laid back. I'll eat some spicy stuff. I'll eat some jerky. I'll talk about it. Maybe you guys want to buy it. Maybe you don't. There's a website, Stony Point Farm Market. It's good stuff. Well, this piece is a little chewier than the others. I'm not eating. I'm not eating this whole bag on the review, but it is good. I can't stop. It is addicting jerky. I go mountain biking, and I like to take jerky with me. I get a little protein, it's tasty. I make my own on a dehydrator. Now, this piece is really chewy. You were right. Fat content is important. Yeah, you don't want too much fat and jerky at all. <sighs> I gotta have another piece. So the next couple things I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll do pre-recorded videos. I really should crank some out today. I should just take some time. I've been working on my website and analytics and with Google. I might end up hiring a webmaster. Um, it's extremely leaning towards that. 
I called up a friend of mine who's really good with computers and see if he'll do some work for me. I'll even pay him. Expert. Expert level. Professional computer. I can, that way I could reach higher on Google. So, if he's not willing to do anything in the next couple weeks, I'll hire somebody else. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I keep going. That's how it is, man. That's how it is with the jerky. So, you guys got plant questions, I'm right here. Your punishment is you have to hear me chewing jerky while I give you my answers. In fact, if you private message me when I'm busy, I'm going to just give my answers on voice. I'll hit voice. No, I'm, well, what you need to do. All right, I promise I'm done. Doctor. This is going back here. This is really chilly. Wow. Well, bunch of plants behind me. Go Steelers. my peach stripes. I didn't feel like buying other ones, so I kept them. Came with the house. So, I haven't been going live too much. I mean, right now. Let me drink some water here. I don't know. I think I'm going to conclude this. I'll do some uh, pre-recorded stuff. All right. Thank you for watching and share it. Well, hold my beers here. I was just going to end it. <laughs> so. Oh. I'm tripping over everything. See, look, hold my bear came. He didn't see me eating jerky. He didn't see me eating jerky. Now I got to eat it. After I promised I, I wouldn't chew anymore on camera. This stuff's pretty good. I gave it a rating of seven and a half. I will honestly say the consistency of moisture is not very consistent, but it's hard to beat unless you end up with the same thickness of meats. What's going on? Hold my beer. You're ready. You're ready for the summer. I want those concerts to come back. Now, I sat there and promised everybody I wouldn't eat anymore. I ended up eating this whole bag on camera. Awesome. Where do you live at, Hold My Bear? What state? Super busy and tired. That's me. All the time. These pieces are just too hard on a couple of them. I'm pulling them all out. Don't eat this. All right. It's called Bronco Billy's Beef Jerky Bourbon Soaked. 
That guy's from McKee's Rocks, PA. That's that's a that's a joke. It's not actually a bad joke. But okay, stop. So I'll do something here. I pretty much did, Michael. I cover this spot. You know, I never show this room much. Probably because it's a mess. I've been cleaning it up. Here's my photography lab. I incorporate those lights into some of the pictures as like an outline. They do drive me nuts though, because I don't want all. But then again, I have a glassy surface. Somebody made that for me. And I feel bad because I have no clue. Hey, Micah, should I? Should I show this? Na 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 water down sauce I hate water down sauce I'm also gonna be putting stuff on this a Jack Daniel I'll use that as a surface that's galvanized in case people don't know when you see a texture on steel like that that's galvanized. When you grind on it, it'll actually be like slag type type because it'll have strings when you work on the metal. I'm actually doing a metal lesson now, but you it, it it's a, it's a coating. This is you. This is probably stainless steel dipped and galvanized. When you see it like flaked like that, and it's very horrible to work with, very health concerning. You can get bronchitis in the matter of like. 10 10 minutes breathing this stuff in. You have to have a respirator. Yeah, that's... We won't say the name of the company, but... Yeah. I could say it. So I'm blacking out this area. I got all kinds of weird stuff in my pockets. Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. So we're going to take a, doors weren't even locked, blacked out, as professional I've ever done. Back porch, always a mess, but I'm cleaning it up. I could put a chair in front of that and look like Game of Thrones, <laughs> ghetto style. Beautiful day. I usually put some plants in here. I don't think I'm going to put any pepper plants here. I really don't. And I had some stuff out here. Garden beds. And I, I'm tearing those up. I can expand this a little bit if I want to best yields I get are right here in the center so we got all that well the reason I don't like growing in that spot is because I'm not sure I gotta fix that up there's a lot of things I gotta fix uh, the Sun yet it only gets partial Sun and horrible yields Horrible yields in that section. So I, I've been, I usually get horrible yields right here too. I've been trimming that tree, you can see that. But when that's in full bloom, all the leaves and those, uh, it's not the best. Out of uh, emergency, I might put stuff there. I don't know. I might put a, I might put a, a chair 
and table in the corner and then do reviews in there. So I've been filling my containers half filled. This is a bigger area than normal. Well, I put an extra row in there. That's, that, that's larger. I even moved that pool out. That's a row and a half. Give some walk space. A limb came down. Big old limb came down here. Uh, hold my beer says, what are you growing this year? Um, like 300 varieties. So there's that. You'll just have to wait and see. I'm cleaning that space out over there. This kid, eh, nah, I don't know. I could expand this out further, but we got this tree here and it does break stuff. So I'm not too fond of that. I don't want to go further that way. That way I have a passage for a lawnmower. But huh. I heard something weird. Yeah, I lost a lot of plants two years ago in this section. This pool was here because I expanded it. So I ripped that out. This is expanded. It'll be expanded possibly a little bit more that way. The problem is, is these tree stumps and all that stuff needs out of here. I'll work on a little bit of it, not much. All that needs uh, taken care of, like ASAP. But I got other stuff to do, so I can't do it this week. Next week, I'll work more on that. I've been splitting the wood there. I got a new sledgehammer. I went from 5 pounds to 16 pounds. That 16 pound sledgehammer really does help. I'm putting the rows slightly closer. So I, I did 11 rows and I expanded another row there. So I'm pushing for 13 to 15 rows. So that should be good. And if not, I have more property. I have more property. Micah says, busy, busy here. It's time to move the plants out. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky. You get a longer grow season. Yeah, I, I can't even do that. I won't even remotely think of that. It's usually about Mother's Day or a week after Mother's Day. I'll, I'll start hardening them off and putting them out here. Uh, this won't be done. I hate to say this. Let's see. Mother's Day. I try to get it. See, what I'm doing is I'll just lift the containers. I'll kill myself doing it. But I'll lift all the containers mostly as much as I can without transplanting. And they'll already be transplanted. And I'll have them out here about four or five days before Mother's Day. Maybe about a week. I'll have them on the back porch. And I can get frost very close to Mother's Day. So I won't even do that. It's like, no matter how much I clean up, it's always messy back here. Always. So, yeah. It's it's crazy. And nets rip. So, certain nets I'll probably throw out. Or I'll cut down. And use for smaller plants. More of ornamental. Because I grow a little bit of ornamental every year. Four or five types. There's a small market in it small market but I enjoy it so that's what we're looking at I gave you a beef jerky review today and coming up today tomorrow oh, and tomorrow is a busy day I might not get much plant work done tomorrow so we're talking this weekend expect a couple reviews from me or uh Instructional videos, I, I wrote down stuff. If you guys want to see something instructional video-wise, say it here in the comment section, and uh, if I feel it's worthwhile and I have enough time, I'll do it. Because if it's helping you, it could help others. 
All right, it is a beautiful day here. I'm getting some sun. All right, let's see any final questions. That's it. All right, I'm going to conclude this because I'm going to eat a lunch. I got all my shipping done. I've been working on some other projects. Some interesting stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. Yeah, I got some interesting stuff to do a little bit different this year. I like to change things up. So, it'll be interesting. All right. I'll check you later. JPPepperSeeds.com.